Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Blad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to save your Revit project file correctly in your folder. So many times we create so many backup files and it becomes difficult for us to see our original final drawing and I will show you one example. This is the residential project and you can see there are so many Revit backup files here and you can see the number 11, 12, 13, 16, 25, 26, 27 and there are revised also and there is my final drawing. So every time I have to search for my final drawing and these backup files are more in number and it creates confusion for us so we can increase or decrease this number in Revit. So I will tell you some basics of this uh, Revit file saving and you can see maximum backups and you can see that Revit specify the maximum number of backup files by default none works here project have three backups and works here project have up to 20 backups so I, I will show you this in Revit project and you can see the next slide here this is about compact file so what is this a compact file reduces file sizes when saving work set enabled files so compact files when you select this option it will reduce your file size and during a normal save Revit only writes new and change element to the existing files this can cause files to become large and if you save your Revit file normally your file size may become large but if you select this compact file uh, it will reduce the file size this is the function of compact file and if you see the next function open work set default set the work set default for the normal model when open locally from this list you can save a work setting file to always default to one of the following option all editable last viewed or a specify the only way a user can change this option is to resave a new central model by selecting make this a central model after save on the file save option dialog. Next slide you can see the preview and it specifies the preview image that display when you open or save a project. The default value for this option is active view or seat. The Revit can create a preview image only from open views. If you select regenerate if view or seat is not up to date, Revit update the preview image whenever you open or save the project. This option can consume considerable resource on a complex model. Use it only if you want the preview image to update frequently. So it will take more time. So whenever uh, it is not required please don't uh, select this preview so i'm going to show you this now and i'm going to my uh, file folder and i'm going to save this here and now i will go to file and i will tell you what is the correct way and now i'm going to click on save as and i'm going to select project save as project and after this you can see this option why this uh, so many backup files are creating because we are not uh, looking at these options and you can click on these three dots options here and you can see the file save option maximum backups is three and you can see this work sharing and uh, you can uh, reduce this backup files here and you can make it one or two and also you can select this compact file and you can uh, also select this make this central model after save and this is the thumbnail preview which i show you just now this is the preview and this is by default active view or sheet you can also change to 3d view floor plan or any other sheets and now after this you can click ok and after this you can save your file and now you, you will not see that much backup files and it will uh, reduce the confusion and you can save your file correctly in Revit. So this was the tutorial for the today's session and in the next session I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So please like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.